Okay, guys, so our unsold teams have been up for four or five minutes now. I haven't seen any interest in that. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Give me one. Oops, hang on. I got to do two things there. I forgot to turn down the volume on the iPad. So that's problem number one. <laughs> problem number two is let's close up that first spreadsheet and put up the new one. So here's what we're going to be opening. Yeah, that was good, wasn't it? Here's what, let's try this again. And hi, Cubbies fan. Here's what we're going to open tonight. It is one box of 2017-18 Hit Parade Gold Signature Series Basketball. That should have one uh, autographed card inside of it. I, I don't know if it's encased or not. Uh, I, think that, I think it can be either. I think they can be graded or encased or they can be uh, loose. This is my first time opening it as well. As you can see, they're uh, by... By virtue of it being break number one, first time we've opened it. After we open that, we will move into a box of 2015-16 replay. That does have an encased card in it and also a rookie card that won't be encased. And after that, we'll move into a couple of boxes of Leaf Best of Basketball Unopened Edition. So let's go ahead and take a look at our bidders here for the Hit Parade Gold Signature Series. Of course, our eBay end date, that's tonight, 10-7. Our live stream schedule also tonight, Saturday, 10-7 at 10-30 Eastern. Team names are on the left, winning bidders across from it on the right. Anything you see that says no bids, buy back, and there's quite a bit of that this evening. Uh, those are unloved, unwanted, orphan teams. No one bought them prior to the start of the break either. So if uh, something comes out for one of the no bids, buy back, teams it will stay here with me otherwise if it comes out uh, for you then we'll send it off to you and speaking of shipping our first two items tonight this hip parade break which you know what I'm going to adjust our uh, autofocus or remove our autofocus let's do that real quick so that we'll have a chance to look at our cards up closer without having all that crazy zooming in and out. Um, so our first two breaks, this Hit Parade Basketball and Replay, both of those are free shipping breaks. Uh, zero shipping cost to you, the bidder. And as many of you know, my free shipping items go out once per week. So uh, that means about seven days from now, that, along with anything else you hit in the meantime, will be shipped out. And if you do happen to have another package that goes out in the meantime, you know, this one would probably uh, just hitch a ride and go early. So that's kind of a brief rundown. And looks like we have a dual uh, player card here. We have Kevin Love along with Vince Carter. And this is out of Gold Standard. And... I'm trying to see the rest of the info on it. It should be numbered somewhere on there, but... Oh, uh, boy, what year is this from? Because, of course, Kevin Love's played for multiple teams. Oh, here we go. This is a 2011 uh, card, so we will have to go back and see where Vince Carter and Kevin Love were playing in 2011. So that's going to be fun for all. We'll see. <laughs> We'll set them, in, we'll set that card in there with Kevin Love and Vince Carter for a minute. And then we will um, figure out where they go. Cubby Span is saying I'm late. No, actually, Cubby Span, I started uh, right on time tonight. Supposed to start at 10.30 and we had uh, the unsold teams up for sale probably five or six minutes before that and started right off at 10.30. So I don't know, man. Bear with me a second, guys. I'm pulling up uh, NBA.com so that I can uh, we can figure out where Kevin Love and Vince Carter were playing in uh, 2011. So hopefully we're going to be able to find that in here. I don't know why they make it so hard to just be able to like search and find a player. You know, should be like easier than that. All right, let's. Well, we ought to be able to at least find Kevin Love. Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you what, I'm going to bring you so you're not just staring at nothing. Let's see if I can bring you with me over here while I try to find this. Yeah, 
MBA.com sometimes makes my life difficult, like right now. Why will that not just search? So go, search, search, go. Oh, brother. See, this is why I don't like MBA.com. Because I don't want to scroll through all the A's. Maybe they want me to type in the first name. Ah, that's it. Should be last name first. Now I'm on the page. <laughs> Okay, so we need to find, I guess it's going to be in stats, maybe, where Kevin Love was playing in 2011, because that's the card series uh, that we have here. That's a 2011 gold standard. So here we see he was still with the Timberwolves. Uh, so Kevin Love on that card is the Tim Timberwolves. Now we need to find, it was Vince Carter, right? Yeah. They couldn't have just given us an easy card in there where we could just like look it up and know the answer. No, they got to make us go through all this. All right, Vince Carter, where were you playing in 2011, buddy? 2011, Vince Carter was a Dallas Maverick. Okay, so that means we are between the Mavericks and the Timberwolves. So we may as well, I'm going to make sure, yeah, you're on the same page as me. So that would have had Kevin Love was on the top. So that means it'll be Timberwolves and then Mavericks. And I will hit random three different times. And the first two don't count. Wherever we end up on the third one, that's who gets the card. So there's the first one. Here goes the second. Here comes the third and final. And that has Dallas Mavericks on top there. You'll see randomized three times our date and time stamp and all that jazz. So this little dual player card from, once again, it was from 2011. You can see that on there, 2011 gold standard, which is why we used the teams they were playing for in 2011. So it went to the Vince Carter uh, bidding position Dallas Mavericks because that's who he was playing with at that point in time so I am gonna circle this and write it on here so that I know and of course obviously you know I'm not writing on your card I'm writing on the on the case I mean I think most people would know that but just to be on the safe side there you go so that is our hit parade gold standard or our hit parade gold signature series and we happen to pull a gold standard card I'll get it out in a minute next up is going to be our one box of 2015 2016 replay let me get us to the right spot on the spreadsheet for that and uh, this is break number three we have broken this before in uh, case or half case quantity so this is the first one we've done in a while, and this one, of course, is just a, a single box. But nonetheless, it is break number three because it is the third time we have broken this product. Of course, our end date and live stream schedule, same as uh, the break above it. And once again, all the stuff that says no bids buyback are unsold uh, orphan teams. And if anything comes out for one of them, stays here with me. And we're going to be looking for... Uh, two autographs in this box they should both be encased and then we should also find uh, a rookie card for just a you know like a base rookie it'll be numbered but uh, a base rookie for our 20 15 16 um, rookies I'll get it out in a minute of course I said rookie didn't I <laughs> our 2015 16 players holy cow I'm not you know, UK is trying to, like, mess around and lose the football game. I was watching it right up until the time we started the break. So, I don't know. I've got that on my mind. I'm not, uh, I'm not at a, I'm not at a hundred percent tonight. <laughs> They're stressing me out. Rondé Hollis Jefferson to 25 for the Brooklyn Nets is our, uh, rookie base card or rookie insert or whatever you want to call it. Our first encased card is for the Washington Wizards. That is Shelvin Mack. And it was originally numbered to 199. And then, of course, you see it was hand numbered uh, down here, 94 of 149. Of course, uh, this came out of 
2012 totally certified originally and it's you know sealed with the little panini replay seal our second hit is for the cavaliers it's out of flawless nice high end hit there tristan thompson hand numbered uh, two of three on that flawless card and it was originally issued also in 2012 13. so one for the calves one for the wizards and then our rookie card for the nets now going forward on replay you know i'm fine to break this in a higher uh quantity at at a time if you guys have an interest in that i mean it's really kind of uh kind of up to you if you're interested in it let me know and we can break it in half cases or even case quantities really or we can continue to just do them, you know, real low buy-in and, and do one box breaks. Either way is okay. Next up, we will have two boxes of 2017 Leaf Best of Basketball, the unopened edition. So I know several of you have uh, broken this with me before. This is break number three. So again, third time we have done it. And... Um, you know what? Let me interject something really quickly while I, because I have forgotten about this. I have immaculate basketball, a case of it. It's ending Tuesday night. I know, I know normally uh, I only break basketball, or not only, but most often because we've been out of season, I break basketball on Saturday nights and not as much through the week. But there is some immaculate basketball already up and listed I think it is set to end Tuesday night. It might be Monday night, but I think it is Tuesday night. So keep an eye out for that. And then, of course, as we start uh, getting in season for basketball, then you'll, you'll start seeing those breaks spread throughout the week. They won't be just on Saturday. So anyway, back to our Leaf Best of Basketball unopened. Of course, we've been scrolling down through here. Once again, you see lots of unsold teams. Anything comes out for them stays with me. Otherwise, if it comes out for you, will be sent off to you. And as I was saying uh, before, I think some of you have, most of you probably, have broken this with me before. So you know what the deal is. Inside each of these boxes, we will find an unopened box of previously released basketball cards. So, I mean, it can be national treasures on on down we pulled um we pulled some tops out of one set I, it was like a series i don't even didn't even know that existed like tops t51 or something but it was a good rookie year it was uh wasn't it russell westbrook's rookie year i think which we did pull his rookie card and then we pulled uh we pulled preferred basketball out of 2012-13 we pulled limited basketball can't remember what else but anyway there's always something fun in here so in here of course we're gonna each of these boxes we're gonna find our one box of uh, previously uh, released unopened basketball and we will also find in here a single 2017 leaf best of basketball uh, swatch super swatch card thing uh, which is you know, not a previously released thing. So it looks like we've got one box is gold standard. I can see that through the plastic wrap. I don't know what this one is. This is Elite, and it is from, what year is this? I'm trying to find it. 2012-13 Elite, so another good rookie class. Of course, uh, most of the 2012-13 products for, from Panini have rookies from both the 12-13, or yeah, from both the 12-13 rookie class and the 11-12 rookie class because of the, you know, strike they had in 11-12. And then we have a box of gold standard, oh, from this year, 2016-17. So a current year gold standard and a 2013 elite. Our Super Swatch cards, we have Jermaine O'Neal. Like, who is Jermaine O'Neal, right? Like, I know Shaquille O'Neal, but who is Jermaine O'Neal? We'll have to look that one up. And then Tracy McGrady. So we'll have to look uh, both of those up to look at years of service and all that, uh, all that fun stuff. And... 
Oh, Casey, I just now saw your um, message. I'm sorry about that, man. Yeah, we've already we've already passed uh, through that, so we're into the we're into the meat of it now. Unfortunately, I usually put uh, I start the break a little early when there are unsold teams. I don't start the recording until we get ready to break, but I will go live, you know, anywhere from two to five or six minutes early. And then you'll have an opportunity to buy any unsold teams if you're interested in that sort of thing. So two things to know here. Uh, the first one out of the 2012-13 product, there's always Kobe Anthology and all of Panini's 2012-13 products. We look through it. If there's a hit, the hit goes out via random. If there is not, which is pretty much always the case, uh, those cards don't go anywhere. All of that is listed at the bottom of every single page down there in the special circumstances area where it talks about bonus packs and all that. But honestly, those, it's because those Kobe Anthology, they're not even worth the cost of postage because they literally put them in every single 2012-13 product. There's like zillions of them. They have pretty much zero value. But All right, so first out, we have our Elite Glass card, and this uh, is Brooke Lopez for the Nets. Next out, Carlos Delfino. To 275 for the Rockets. Tony Parker to 275 for the Spurs. Looks like we're going to have a redemption. Leandro Barbosa for the Wizards. Now you see that he's in a Celtics uniform, but of course it says Wizards down there, and then it also notes on the card uh, the date that he was traded to the Wizards. So that is uh, definitely a Wizards card, even though he happens to be pictured in a Celtics uniform. Derek Williams to 249 for the T-Wolves. We're going to set our redemption aside. Uh, this is, who is this? Larry Johnson for Charlotte. It's kind of hard to, uh, if I got something I can, hang on a second. Now, when you're not looking through so much stuff in the background you can see the signature part a little bit better and that is numbered to 249 for charlotte on the larry johnson i guess i should have kept that piece of paper because we have another one and this is jonas villacunas and that's for the toronto raptors and the Villa Kunis does not appear to be numbered, as best I can tell, for the Raptors. And then a Tim Duncan uh, insert numbered to 99. And our redemption, Chris Copeland, which um, we will, it is... Court Kings Autographs White Canvas. Of course, uh, we'll, we'll have to go to the checklist on that one, so we'll set that one aside for a minute. Then our Gold Standard. This came out of the second box of the, of the uh, leaf unopened. This is to 79, Michael Kidd Gilchrist for Charlotte. Aaron Baines for the Pistons to 269. Langston Galloway to 269 Pelicans, Clay Thompson 269 for the Warriors, Golden Trios for the Jazz, that is numbered to 49, you have Derek Favors, Rodney Hood, and Rudy Go Gobert, Karis Levert for the Nets to 199 material and on card auto actually I think it's not a sticker I don't think do you have a little bit of chipping up there in the upper left corner in particular that I notice and then Bryce Johnson for the Clippers to 199 material and on card auto all right, so let's go to the checklist for this, and then uh, we will deal with these two little uh, Leaf Super Swatch jerseys up there. So hang tight. There's a little bit of a... Uh, it takes a minute to get through all the drop-downs on the Panini website to bring up this checklist. 
And this was 2012 Elite. Okay. We're getting there. Actually, this says Elite Series, so I guess that's obviously that's different than regular Elite. Um, but anyway, Court Kings Autographs, White Canvas, and the card number, it was 68, or is 68. Okay, so Chris Copeland is for the Knicks, and it will be numbered to 249. I do realize that the redemption uh, technically is expired. However, you do still want to redeem it in your Panini account, just like you would any other redemption. If they have it, they will send it to you uh, in fairly short order. We're going to deal with these two now. Usually within a couple of, uh, you know, I don't know, six weeks or so if they have it, six or eight weeks. If you have not heard from them by that point in time, then I usually suggest that you uh, reach out to them because sometimes they have to give you a substitute card or do something different if they don't still have that card. So that's what I would suggest. So first up, Jermaine O'Neal. Oh, all right, I gotta put it in the other way. I keep forgetting, I have to do last name first. No, I didn't, ah, apparently I had the uh, cursor in the wrong spot. And I don't know if it's going to give me, will it give me historical players? I guess it will not. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's who we want. <laughs> so is it going to come up or not so much? Oh, my goodness. What is going on? Come on. All right. Well, clearly, um, they are not really wanting to help me out too much here are they on good old nba.com well forget it we'll go to tracy mcgrady and do him first of course he's not going to come up either because it's not going to let me have historical players okay well then i guess that means um i'm going to have to go about this the roundabout way so bear with me, guys. I'm going to have to pull this up a different way. And I cannot see uh, chat, by the way, while I'm doing this because I'm trying to, I'm using the iPad to try to pull this up. If I can find uh, somewhere in here, we should have the stats for him. And that's what I need to see. All right. Looks like we can find the stats on ESPN.com, perhaps. So uh, what we need to see here, of course, is the number of years played with each team. So that's, uh, we're looking at uh, this, Jermaine O'Neal. Of course, he's already long, uh, long ago retired, several years ago. So he was four years with Portland. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight seasons with the Pacers. One Miami, two Miami two Boston, one Toronto, a Phoenix, and a Golden State. Okay, so he is a pacer uh, because that's who he, he's retired, of course, already, and that's who he had the most years of service with, so that goes to the pacers. Now we've got to deal with Tracy McGrady here. If we can uh, find that, we'll be in good shape. I don't know why they can't... Uh, why can't they just give us easy ones? Why can't they just say who it should be? Because <laughs> uh, they want to make life hard. Basically, if I could search for our historical players on NBA.com without so much difficulty, it would be much, much easier. But that's okay. They don't want to give us that help. All right, so now we're looking at the Tracy McGrady. I'm just waiting for his stats to load here to figure out where this super swatch goes and Tracy McGrady had one two three years in Toronto four seasons with Orlando one two three six with Houston okay so Houston it is so Houston for 
uh, is again this is a retired player so it's going to go to service for the uh, longest amount of time so Houston Rockets is the Tracy McGrady the Jermaine O'Neal will go to the Indiana Pacers then we have the Redemption which goes to the Knicks we have the glass card which I'm going to count as a hit uh, Brooke Lopez I guess that's probably technically not glass it's probably actually acrylic but you get the idea then we have the hit uh, for Jonas Villacunas with the Toronto Raptors for the Charlotte Hornets Larry Johnson then Bryce Johnson for the Clippers out of the gold standard Karis Levert for the Nets and then the triple relic for the Jazz so that's what we ended up with uh, out of our Leaf Best of Basketball unopened edition. And if you had a team in here that didn't pull anything, most of the other stuff we've opened in Leaf Best of Basketball has had a lot more cards in it than these particular ones did. So if you have a team and you didn't pull anything, I know you paid shipping on this break. So I will still, uh, I'll send you something. You'll still get something. Don't worry. Uh, I won't leave you hanging on that. And probably going forward, maybe I'll change this break to like a one box break with free shipping or something like that. So that way, if we were to pull another low card count out of it, we wouldn't uh, we wouldn't have so many problems. So so that's kind of the plan. Um, just remember, immaculate baseball is our, or basketball is already listed. Full case break will end either Monday or Tuesday night. I forget which. And then, of course, lots of other football and baseball and basketball listed and ending. I hope I will see you again on another break. In the meantime, I really appreciate you bidding and breaking with me tonight and, of course, chatting and keeping me company. And I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.